dangerous. So that's her. Likely. Yuck! That's the queen? She doesn't look at all like Svala. Don't you dare compare the two. There's more! Target the queen in the middle! Well done, escaping from the nest. <laughs> Didn't think you'd ever make it out. It ends here. The chain and your destiny. My master, <laughs> you're really quite amusing. What do you mean by my destiny? You have always acted this way. You look down on me as though you know everything and I know nothing. Are you jealous? Absurd. Quiet! <laughs> For me to lose my temper like this... Helped. Before, I was inferior to you in power. But just look at me now. Not anymore! <laughs> Divine power is incredible! I no longer care about that mad Leonid. This power shall take me to a much higher place. Yes! It will carry me to the height of the Shining Moon! Knowledge, wisdom, they mean nothing before this power. <laughs> Look at me, my master. No one shall ever mock me. No one will call me a fledgling, because they know that I have unparalleled strength. I have power! You are merely Leonid's obedient dog! You are nothing compared to me! Hmm. Shall we see? What is going on? No! I have full control! It can't be overtaking me! No! You must let go of that power! No! No! I finally have it! With this power under my control, I shall prove that I am the greatest! Now is my chance! Ah! Held! No one can compare! I am the exalted one! <laughs> you look wonderful, Held. Now go have fun. Hey, can we run away too? What are you saying? Make him visible to us now! No! No! Fine! Death! Capel? What are you? I didn't think I could do it. Capel, give us some warning before you do something like that again. What are you trying to do? Are you worried? Not at all. Uh, then why? Everyone else was worried. <sighs> okay. Held was my first apprentice. I had high hopes for him. I nurtured him, but I couldn't change his heart. He wasn't given enough love from his parents. You're not being supportive. During his training, his mind became twisted, and he left me. Master, it wasn't your fault. Kyria, I have something I must tell you. What? The secret of the Dread Knight, the source of greater power. Hmm? Uh, look! Look! Over there! Huh? What? Where? Where is it? 
compelled. No, my master. No one, no one can defeat. <sighs> A greater source of power. From what? Ah, oh, I get it! Because we liberated the land from the chain, everything collapses. No! I knew this would happen! Capel, you should have thought before cutting it! What? Me? It's my fault? No time for that! Run! Farewell. I welcome you back. We were fortunate enough to observe your extraordinary feat from the palace. Yes, your majesty. The amber chain has been destroyed. Thanks to your hard work, the dark cloud over us has finally lifted. We are proud to have witnessed a battle befitting the Liberator. Ah, it was nothing. Hey, you're Sigmund! Uh, no, no. Thank you, Your Majesty. This deed holds special meaning for my empire. As a result of your bravery, the Order of Chains will be greatly restricted in future attacks. The reward for this must be remarkable. Sigmund, if you and your companions have a wish, I shall grant it to the extent of my power. Is there anything you desire? Anything? Is that all you can think about? Capel, the Empress should spread the news about the Lunar Rain. Good idea. This is the best way to reach the most people. Huh? Oh, yeah, that'll work. Your Majesty, I have but one wish. Proceed. I imagine that Your Majesty knows about the lunar rain which falls on Halgita. This rain is in fact dangerous to those with lunaglyphs. We humbly ask that Your Majesty inform her subjects. Lunar rain is dangerous? Yes, Your Majesty. For non-aristos, it acts as a potent poison. <gasps> This poison results in death, or even worse, transformation into a monster known as a vermiform. It's an evil rain. We mustn't publicize this. It'll just lead to chaos. As long as we know, Imperial matters will continue unhindered. Your Majesty, it's been a long time. Kyria! You have no right to speak! Stay back! Fools shouldn't speak. Oh, what insolence! Your Majesty, do you want to see more people victimized by their glyphs? Uh. Empress. I understand your concern. We shall spread the word that Lunar Rain is poisonous. Nothing more. Your Majesty, please, that won't be... We shall not publicize about the vermiforms quite yet. Paranoia could spread amongst my people. If there are no proper countermeasures in place, we are helpless to quell their growing concern. In the worst case, people may resort to killing those who fall ill out of fear that they will turn on them. That is unlikely. Chaos caused by a lack of information is that much more dangerous. What we shall do instead is start production on a cure. After this medicine becomes available, then we can let everyone know the truth about these vermiforms. It is pointless to publicize without having a solution. Your Majesty. Kyria, present the ingredients and method of production. We shall begin immediately. Your Majesty. But Your Majesty, mass production of this medicine will be taxing on... Silence! A final decision has been made. 
please look after him for me. Um... It, yes, your majesty, I shall do so! Hey, Faina! Capel! Thank goodness you're safe. What is Leif doing? Oh, that? You know the night whispers they have here in Helgita? Well, we were saved by one of them. So now... He's training? I think so. If Faina's in danger again, I'll be ready to jump in and save the day! Wow. I can keep us safe even without you around! That's great to hear. He's just getting carried away. Sorry. Where are you heading next? And what about you? I'm going to Colton. Colton? We're thinking of going back to Saprin. Then, I guess we won't be seeing each other for a while. Yeah. No matter how far away I am, I'll always be there to save you both from trouble. Yes, I trust you. Count on me. Thank you. This means it's a promise. I promise. Okay. Please, Capel. Be careful. Your Highness! Princess Aya! Genma? What's wrong? I have a message from your father. You do? Yes, Your Highness. There's trouble in Fael, and he asks that you return immediately. What trouble? I cannot say for sure. I was here in Halgita as well, and have no further information. But reports suggest the involvement of vermiforms. He also asked that the Force come. My father wants Capel's help too? Yes. He wants help. Sounds like an emergency. <sighs> Worried about Fayel? Well... <sighs> then let's go back. But we're about to attack the Order's stronghold! We can't! Exactly. Once we begin, there's no turning back. So let's take care of everything else first, and leave no regrets. Please let His Majesty know that we shall make way. Understood, Your Highness. We should move too. Yeah. Aya? Somehow... Hmm? Somehow... You look... I look what? You look tougher. Just a little bit, you know? Just a little. Really? You do. Wow, I've been through a lot. What? Come on, everyone's waiting for us. We haven't met with the king here yet, because of everything that happened, right? Yeah, you're right. Go meet him. We can't return to Fael until a ship comes in anyway. Oh, yeah. We did have quite a few unnecessary problems come up. <laughs> Don't look at me like that! Just go and meet him. All right, I'm going. Wait, I'm coming too! Don't leave me! We welcome you to Colton. Thank you. We feel nothing but happiness on seeing your majesty well. You've got it down now. Really? And... 
What has brought you here to our kingdom? Your Majesty, if it pleases you, let me tell you about our mission to liberate the moon from the chains which are binding it. We explained our mission, what we had done up to then, and what we wanted to do in the future. We discussed the moon, the chains, and the threat of the Dread Knight. We explained as much as we could in the time we were given. I have comprehended the intent of your message. Thank you, Your Majesty. Countries far and wide have pledged to assist you in your mission. That is not quite the situation. But I am cognizant that Your Highness is the Princess of Fael, the daughter of the Emir. Well... Um... We in Colton would like to extend our support as well. My men will accompany you. Your Majesty. Silence. We give them credence. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm Christopher. At your service. I am Serafina. I'm Sigmund. As the leader of the force, I welcome you. Sigmund, I will put my trust in you. Thank you. This meeting is adjourned. How did it go? They're trusting us to do this. The two behind you are here to help? Yeah, that's the deal. Christopher, good to meet you. I'm Edward. You know, you're acting very differently than before in the castle. <laughs> no, young lady. I haven't changed. But perhaps your heart has changed the way you look at me. You must be noticing my more charming side. He's like... We've got another odd one. I am Serafina. Oh, my darling Serafina. How could I have announced myself first when I should have given you that honor? Perhaps I made you jealous by speaking to another woman? I do not understand. You are illogical. I understand you, Serafina. Everything you say is out of love for me. I am communicating with other people. You should remain silent. Capel, you handle this. Handle what? I'm out of here. Y Eugene! All right. See you later, Capel. Wait, everyone! That's unfair! Stay here! <sighs> Appel, look at that. Hmm? It's lunar rain. But it's never happened here in Fael before. Not once. We must tell my father about the lunaglyphs. And make sure that everyone understands the danger of Lunar Rain. Yes. My father? He is resting inside. Let us in. Your Majesty, Her Highness and Lord Sigmund are here. Show them in. I bid you both welcome. Father. Genma's message must have brought you here, I presume. Yes. Then I shall get right to the point. There have been reports of attacks by invisible monsters throughout the kingdom in recent days. We have discovered corpses that appear to have been ravaged by these monsters. Like humans, but with twisted arms and legs. You know of them? Yes. Ah, I was right to call upon you. I knew you would have some information about them. Vermiforms. Vermiforms. 
I have never heard of them. What are they? They are transformed Meigs. What? They were Meigs? What could possibly cause them to change into monsters? That would be the Lunar Rain. Father, please listen. We'll explain everything. I and I explained to the Emir what we had learned from Edward's transformation. That Lunar Rain increases the level of lunar power inside the body. We also explained that when that power exceeds a certain limit, it causes a hideous change. Vermification. Vermiforms are vicious beasts that attack those with the least amount of lunar power first. We told him how vermiforms, originally Meigs, could be turned back to normal by suppressing their power with special medicine. Then we warned him of the great danger posed by lunaglyphs. This is difficult to believe. But it's the truth! <sighs> so our plan has backfired on us. What plan? We have been conducting rites for citizens to increase their lunaglyph strength, so that they may battle these monsters on their own. What? The number of people with increased lunaglyph strength is growing day by day. So, a massive outbreak may occur? Daughter, I shall trust you on this matter. I will dispatch Aristos with orders to stop the rites, and to spread the word about the dangers of Lunar Rain. Father... Thank you, Your Majesty. Then we shall go back to liberating the moon. I am grateful. I leave Saprin in your care as well. No, wait! Saprin is outside of our jurisdiction. We cannot send troops. Huh? It is home to the unblessed. We do not rule over them. Father! That's absurd. It is the law. In a time of emergency, it shouldn't matter if they're unblessed. Am I wrong? Are you suggesting the Emir break his own laws? Mind your place, young man. Forget them. Fine. Then I'll go and help. Capel, wait for me! Capel?